Hi there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Prestige Liquids. My name is Andrew and as always it is fantastic to have you here with me again on another whiskey review video. In today's video we are again continuing on with the Australian whiskey advent calendar but before we do that if you have not yet done so please make sure you hit the bell notification and the subscription button so that you can stay up to date with all future content. Um, we are at the moment up to day 19 of this fantastic set so we're we're heading into the last stretch, um, we're, we're coming up to the end of this, so if you are wanting to make sure that you catch all those videos, then again, please make sure you've subscribed. Alrighty, let's, uh, let's get started with this, we'll get um, day 19 ready to go, that's if it wants to, to come out, some of these have been playing a little bit hard to get at the moment, but let's see what we're getting. All right, brilliant. Again, just like yesterday's video, I've got something from a distillery that I have not heard of again. So this is great. I'm I'm loving the way this is going. Um, the start of the series has kind of gone along with a lot of whiskies that I ha will say distilleries that I have heard of and some that I have tried. But uh, yesterday's video and this one are both from distilleries that I have never heard of. So this is this is awesome it's new discovery so just like yesterday um, this distillery is located in Victoria they are called Fossies distillery and this is their single barrel export um, expression uh, bottled at 44% ABV um, I don't have any other information about this at the moment so once I do I'll put all that info down in the description box down below uh, things relating in terms to uh, like cast type, um, maturation and all that kind of thing. Um, I have also got a playlist that I have set up and ready to go for this um, series. So I'll also link that in the description box. Uh, so that way you can catch up on any of the content that you may have missed. So let's pour a little bit of this and get started on this review. Okay, so as mentioned, Fossey's Distillery Single Barrel Export bottled at 44% ABV. Let's see what we get. So, on the nose. Cheers. Okay, so you're definitely going to... You've got some definite fortified characteristics here. I think um, raisins... Um, stewed fruits as well, like um, stewed figs and pears. Lots of barrel char. Some nice grape tannin coming through as well. Lots of caramel and vanilla. This has a very thick, syrupy, sweet nose to it. I'm guessing that there is also maybe some kind of like medium char on the barrel as well. Um, the barrel char influence is definitely there. You will notice it. Milk chocolate. I would say a little bit of... Yeah, I think a bit of mango. Like a nice sweet mango. Some cereal grain. A little bit of leather. There's a really interesting earthy characteristic that's coming through as well. I don't think it's peat, um, but there is definitely some type of foresty, um, a foresty scent to it. It's quite dusty, it has like an, an old book smell to it. Okay, that's a, that's a very interesting nose, but um, enough of that. Let's see what we get on the palate, so cheers. Okay, so 
Now, at the moment, I can't say that I am a fan of this. I think decent mouthfeel, uh, but the port is coming in really strong. I have a feeling that with with this one, um, that the casks may have been filled uh, while there may have still been some of the wine in there, and I think I really feel that the um, the port is overpowering the um uh, it is overpowering the spirit i feel like i am more so drinking a port that has had a bit of whiskey mixed into it again very fruity uh, lots of raisins figs again those stewed fruits uh, lots of caramel, touches of vanilla coming through, but again, what is really throwing me off is just more so how heavy that port influence is on this. I've had other port or tawny uh, like cask whiskies before, where you do get a lot of those characteristics of that wine mixing in with the spirit but the thing is the flavors are well integrated this just pretty much just tastes like port um, it's not allowing the the whiskey spirit to to come through and show i guess the, the characteristic of the distillery um, and for me as well this is bordering on becoming too sweet I'm not always a fan of, say, overly sweet whiskies, but this definitely is a very sugary and syrupy sweet whiskey. Uh, the finish, again, typical port characteristic, uh, but I'm also getting uh, quite a bit of um, leather, tobacco, and a little bit of smoke. Um, unfortunately, I am a little bit disappointed um, with this one. I was hoping that I was going to enjoy it. In general, I do enjoy a good port or or tawny cask uh, whiskey, but um, yeah, this one is not doing it for me. Uh, but that's not to say that others won't enjoy it. Unfortunately, it's just not it's just not for me. But um, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, if you have not yet done so, uh, please make sure you go ahead and hit that bell notification and the subscription button. Um, one For one thing, you will definitely be helping my channel grow and also be helping to, to spread more awareness for many of these awesome Aussie distilleries. So make sure you do that. I do like to focus a lot on Australian whiskies. Uh, so there's always some type of new interesting content coming out. So definitely subscribe. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I don't have anything else to say about this whiskey. Um, please make sure that you join in tomorrow. Uh, we'll be doing, well, where are we up to? Day 20. That one's down here of the advent calendar. And I'll see you all again on the next video. Give peace.